Being on Lake Pepin for 34 years and guiding, I've learned a lot about how the fish migrate on this body of water. So let's start up at Red Wing. Red Wing, you have the spawn going on up there, all the fish migrate up to the dam. You have some of the fish migrating to the backwaters. But then when the spawn gets done, these fish start migrating backwards. The first part of the system, it opens up into the Lake Pepin. And the fishing the points, they come down into the lake. As these fish come down in there, they're hitting the funnel areas and pinch points of where these fish want to hit back into the lake. Once they hit the lake, they start using the points as their travel corridors and the brake lines that come all the way back down into Lake Pepin. This is where you'll start seeing the guys in May, June, July, start trolling lead core, pulling crankbaits, pulling boards, and covering the whole body of water on the brake lines. Now keep in mind, once in June and July comes, these fish, and the, they'll start going into looking for bait fish more. These fish will be suspended in the water. They'll start fishing the lures up on top of the water, all the way down to the bottom of the water column. As the summer comes on, then we start moving down into the bottom of the lake, where also that you start fishing wing dams. So June, July, August are some of my favorite times for wing dams. We're throwing crank baits, we're throwing live bait, and covering all that. Now as the water temp starts dropping, all these fish start moving back up. The bait fish start moving back up into the system. They start moving up through the lake. You start seeing them at the wing dams there, or at the dam again. And you start following these fish up on all the points going all the way up into the dam to where these bait fish are starting to pile up. So that's kind of how the migration works. If you can stay on that, you can catch fish all day, all year long.